All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. I'm actually in uh, Sweden right now and I wanted to take a, a second and talk about this Asvape Gabriel mod. It's one of the two mods that I brought with me to Sweden to, to vape. It's got my K-Fun on it. That's This is where my K-Fun lives. And this little Asvape Gabriel has kind of become like my go-to single 18650 mod. I, I, like I've said in the past a lot, I have a very special place in my heart for little six, single 18650 mods. I really like them with like uh, mouth to lung tanks or maybe little flavor banger atomizers on top. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a good little compact mod. Uh, you know, single 18650 mods are good little compact mods just to just to have in your arsenal. I find them very enjoyable to use and uh, yeah I've been using this S-Vape Gabriel kind of like crazy. I've only been using it in wattage mode. It does have a whole menu system you can choose between uh, you know power wattage mode. You can choose temperature control mode. They do have a curve on here as well. I don't generally ever fiddle around with like curves on mods. I, I just uh, I don't know. I don't find it very useful or, or helpful in any way. And there is also uh, uh, a bypass mode, which is just, uh, you know, unregulated uh, single battery, you know, so it's going to be four volts basically off of the charger, around 4.2 volts right off of the charger, and it'll dip down to about 3.7, and then that's where it spends most of its life. The display itself isn't particularly outstanding or revolutionary or anything like that, but it's it's a pretty nice looking uh, display. It shows you everything you need to know. It's going to show you your wattage. It's going to show you your voltage. It's going to show you what mode you're in, and it does have a battery level indicator in the back battery level indicator on it kind of looks like your cell phone reception bars like it's kind of that graduated line sort of thing and you can visually see it getting like smaller and smaller which I actually really appreciate it's much easier it's much easier to see where your battery is at in my opinion on a display like this rather than having like a bar that slowly shrinks but that's just you know that's just me being nitpicky I guess and like I said overall I have really really very much been enjoying this it's got this very cool like a uh, rubberized Kent! Kent's trying to be sneaky and he just threw a big branch in the water. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Appreciate that, Kent. Anyway, as I was saying, it does have like this very cool uh, rubberized feeling texture on it. And I've been using it, I mean, daily, 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 daily. It's popped up in my vlogs quite often. I've had this for roughly two months now, I think. And I've been using it, I mean, daily, daily, daily. Uh, my K-Fun is on top. I love my K-Fun light. And I've been using it a lot. And it has that uh, sort of rubberized texture finish to it. It's got some kind of cool graphics on it. I think they look very cool. They look very like tattoo flashy art to me. There's some wings and fire and some roses and then there's a, a like a wing on the other side as well. And it all looks really nice in my opinion. There is like right down the middle there's a seam where you can kind of see where the where the graphics kind of meet each other. It's not like a you know a smooth transition and honestly just looking at it you wouldn't really even notice it but once you really take a look at it you can kind of see okay yeah there's a little seam you know where right down the center right across the display where you can see where the graphics sort of meet up it's obviously not a deal breaker or anything like that very ergonomic in the hand I, I like to generally hold mods in my hand and hit the you know hit the button with my finger but obviously that's not an option on here you have this little pedestal this little pedestal right here to hit it and it just fits in my hand and you, you hit it with your thumb and it's fantastic Stop looking at me. I can see you watching me. The only real bummer about this to me is that it's only a single 18650 and I would love, especially with a mod that's like kind of this big, I would love like a single 2700 or 21700 version of this in this same size. I think it can be done. I, I don't know. I, I don't know for sure if it can be done, but I would really like like a bigger battery of 21700 or something in here. As it stands, I'm running a 0.6 ohm single coil K-Fun in here at 15 watts. So I still get a very decent battery life. I think it was the day before yesterday. This was the only mod that I used 
all day long from the moment I got up and left the hotel till the time I got back to the hotel at night, I used one single 18650 and at 15 watts, the battery life lasted me literally all day. Just overall been, uh, been very, very impressed by this as vape Gabriel. And it's something that I, uh, I think I foresee myself using it, uh, quite a bit into the future. I don't have my phone on me right now, so I can't check the price, but I'll put the price up here on the screen. I really believe this is well within vape budget hands territory. And if we were going to play the aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, the as vape Gabriel, yeah, it's kind of something I think I would buy. Okay. So I didn't know this when I was shooting that review, but the price on this as vape Gabriel is $82. So with that said, vape budget hands. I think $82 is a little bit pricey for this. And I know I said I really wanted to own it, but 82 bucks, uh, I feel like that uh, personally, I feel like that's a little too pricey for this mod. I'm not sure I would actually spend $82 on it as much as I enjoy it. I feel like $82 is a little bit on the pricey side. I've just really kind of fallen in love with this particular mod, with this k fun on top, with the little DHD, you know, uh, Paquito Chiquita drip tip, the name of this drip tip that I can never remember. But yeah, it is what it is. As Vape Gabriel, that's what I got for today, everybody, from uh, beautiful Ulrisaheim. Nope, I didn't say it right. Ulrisaheim. Nope, can't say it. Ulrisa Hamn. Sweden. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.